So you're thinking about moving to Decatur, Georgia? Well, allow me to welcome you to downtown Decatur. vlogging here from downtown Decatur and I'm going to be as we're walking through the city I'm going to be giving you a few pros and cons as we walk through uh, the city but beside me let me just point out some uh, landmarks here so this courthouse or this building behind me is the courthouse the old courthouse for DeKalb County uh, and if you look there that big building there is the new courthouse for DeKalb County all right, so Decatur is situated uh, uh, about five miles east of Atlanta. Uh, it is one of the popular suburbs. Uh, one of the models, the famous model here for Decatur is everything is greater in Decatur. So uh, that is a, uh, a a little thing that they used to say back in the day. Out here through uh, downtown Decatur, you're gonna pretty much see some of the uh, shops behind me, uh, but essentially, this city is uh, set up in a city center. This is a uh, traditional city center, or really an American city. Uh, this was a very popular layout uh, post uh, reconstruction. And so uh, this city definitely resembles the traditional setups of uh, most American cities. Uh, so let me point out a few pros and cons as we begin our stroll here through uh, downtown Decatur. Okay, so let me give you some statistics here about the uh, city of Decatur. Population here is about 26,000 and climbing. Uh, the medium home household income here for a family is about 106,000. The medium sold homes as of 2021 based on Georgia MLS was a whopping $553,000 for the medium sold home value. Uh, this city has a high population of ownership. 66% of the residents own their properties here and 33.8% rent their properties here. Okay, so decent combination, but you'll see definitely uh, that pride in home ownership uh, is synonymous for uh, Decatur. Also, the unemployment numbers here for Decatur is under the national average at 2.8%, whereas the national average is currently as of December 2021 was 3.9%. So Decatur, city of Decatur is performing well in that area. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin our stroll here through downtown Decatur. We're going to go this way and uh, point out some shops here so you can see a few of the shops as we walk and we talk about the uh, pros and cons. So where I'm standing right here right now is the city center. This is literally the green area right here in the city of Decatur. Uh, we have the pavilion behind us. We have the courthouses uh, flanked to our left and our right. So let's just take a stroll down this little alley here and point out some of the shops. One of the things you need to know about Decatur is the fact that Decatur, uh, where we are now, is the city center. So this is the city limits of Decatur. Um, so many people look at the map and they will see uh, other areas that have the Decatur, Georgia, as the city, but it is actually in unincorporated DeKalb. So uh, the city of Decatur is actually in the zip code 330. So if you're looking at any type of real estate outside of 330, you're not in the city of Decatur. So what does that mean? Well, you don't enjoy the public school systems here for the city of Decatur schools, which is ranked the number one school district here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. So yeah, that is our first pro is the fact that this city is the best ranked city for public schools in the entire 
metropolitan area. Um, yes. So in, in test scores uh, and so many other factors in uh, test scores, student teacher ratio, uh, the expense per student, they are leading the way here in uh, the city of Decatur. Okay, so our first con here for the city of Decatur is going to be how expensive it is. Yes, it is expensive to live in downtown Decatur or city of Decatur. And the reason it is is because everything is so great here. When it comes to the schools, you're going to pay more money uh, per, you're going to pay more money in taxes, you're going to pay more money in real estate, and the reason you do that is because you are in the best area you can be in. So yeah, you pay a little bit more, but you get it in return. So one of the cons that people can say is that the city of Decatur is expensive. All right, so pro number two, in my opinion, is going to be the small town feel. Uh, being here in the city of Decatur, you will know that you're not in a super large city at all. This city feels very small. It feels very manageable. Your lifestyle can be managed. Uh, so it does have that small town feel, that community feel. So if you are moving from a bigger area uh, or a small area, uh, then just definitely get ready for that small town feel. Uh, the local shops make that process even smoother because uh, a lot of these businesses here are owned locally or, or small mom and pop type boutique style, either restaurants or uh, shops. So it, it really gives you and forces you to kind of have that community oriented feel, okay? So if that's on your list, definitely consider Decatur. Let's keep moving. Okay, so con number two. Con number two is similar to what we talked about with small community feel, but essentially there are not a lot of big box brands right here in the city of Decatur. So for instance, if you need to go to say Best Buy, you're gonna have to jump in the car and drive over to the next town, Atlanta, <laughs> and go to Best Buy. So uh, although the small town feel and supporting the independent shops are very important you do miss out on a lot of the big box brands like even restaurants for an example most of the restaurants in the city of decatur are going to be small and privately independently owned with the exception of two you have chick-fil-a which is an exception to the rule because chick-fil-a is a georgia-based business um and then you have uh, uh chipotle and then you have uh mcdonald's uh, kind of like right here at the square. That's that's about all you're gonna get. Uh, so you don't have an influx of those uh, fast food eateries or even like your Applebee's or your Chili's and stuff like that. You don't have that right here in the city of Decatur. So if that is important to you, definitely consider uh, the void that this city offers. But the benefit, small community feel. All right, let's keep moving to the other section of uh, Decatur. Let's do it. So pro number three as we walk, pro number three is going to be Decatur. The city of Decatur is a very family friendly city. So obviously the schools here are bar none. No other metropolitan area city can compete, district can compete with the city of Decatur. Um, so to me, a very family friendly city. So you have uh, annual festivals here. Uh, you have different events that happen throughout the, the seasonal events as well, like Christmas parades, art festivals, uh, festivals geared towards your children. Uh, definitely a great place to come and convene uh, and a great city for that. So definitely Decatur, City of Decatur is definitely family friendly for sure.
So the last con for the city of Decatur uh, is going to be the limited access to directly to the interstate. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about the city of Decatur is the fact that it is not directly located right off the interstate. It's about four and a half miles from here to Interstate 20, and then maybe about three to almost four miles to the other side, which will, uh, the next nearest interstate, which would be Interstate 285. Um, so again, everybody that is from Atlanta or <laughs> have experienced Atlanta understands that the traffic here in Atlanta is definitely something to consider uh, when you are talking about making a move here. Uh, and sometimes it can take you 20 minutes, 20 minutes to actually go uh, like five miles. So definitely consider that. So if you are having to have a daily mute, commute uh, from city of Decatur into like say maybe North Atlanta or South section of Atlanta, then maybe you want to consider uh, the limited interstate, direct interstate access uh, here that the city of Decatur offers. So definitely that is the last con uh, for today's video. And we have one more pro about the city of Decatur. So let me show you another section of the city and then I'll give you that last pro. Your book was my best life, yeah. Something you don't mean, oh. Your book was my best life, yeah. Jumping, flexing, I oh, know. I just want to. Something you don't mean, oh. The last pro is going to be the walkability that the city of Decatur offers. Literally, you can walk anywhere. Uh, we literally just walked around the downtown square um, easily, sidewalks everywhere, uh, crosswalks everywhere, uh, very walkable. So if you can work from home, if you're a work from home professional uh, and you don't have to commute, literally, city of Decatur should be on the top of your list because you can walk to any restaurant, to any store, to any boutique, uh, to any office, if your office happens to be here in uh, City of Decatur, very easily you can walk it, you can bike it. Um, so definitely a very walkable area. Also, one of the unique things about the City of Decatur is its location. It is inland, like we said on the last con, which means it doesn't have really that close proximity to the interstate. Uh, but one of the things that that does is it connects you uh, with other neighborhoods directly beside it. Uh, so you're able to walk uh, from here to say Druid Hill to uh, different areas right outside of Decatur and you should be able to get there fairly easy uh, all the way down into Edgewood, Kirkwood uh, so definitely something to consider about the uh, city of Decatur that is very walkable for certain. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at downtown Decatur or the city of Decatur. I always say downtown Decatur because that lets you know that you're in the city of Decatur uh, and as I said earlier in the video, make sure if you're looking at real estate or looking to make a move here to Decatur that you make sure you pay attention to the zip code to ensure that your uh, child can take advantage of that uh, public school system here in the city of Decatur schools, bar none, top of the best, best of the top. <laughs> I just made that up. Uh, but the best school district here in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Also, if you're looking to make a move here to Decatur or Atlanta or surrounding areas, Feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. My team and I stand ready to assist you make a smooth move here to Decatur, Georgia or Atlanta, Georgia or whatever part of uh, the Atlanta metropolitan area you may be interested in. So again, thank you for watching the video. Definitely smash that like button. Uh, drop a comment and let me know what you thought about the pros and cons for the city of Decatur. And until next time, uh, also make sure you subscribe. So you'll know more, learn more information about the city of Decatur because I'm gonna be doing a full vlog tour uh, here soon on the city of Decatur. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.